Welcome back to my block Jags. I am Daniel Scurry. And before I start this video, what I need everyone to do is subscribe, 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 tell a friend and subscribe. All right. Yesterday we had the, um, one of the playoff games. I don't know which playoff or which bowl game it was. Um, it wasn't the Chick-fil-A, maybe the Tortillas. I can't remember exactly which bowl game it was, but we had a bowl game. Clemson played Ohio State. Trevor versus Justin Fields. Number one versus number two. Number one and two in co in high school. One and two right now in uh in in college football. One and two quarterback in college football. One and two more likely going to be in the draft. Um, don't know who's going to be one. Don't know who's going to be two. Jacksonville Jaguars have the number one pick. Um, so everyone assumes. Everyone more than likely. Everyone assumes and more than likely it's true. We're going to go after Trevor Lawrence. Bet. We get to see Trevor Lawrence in the playoffs with Ohio State. Um, Trevor Lawrence went out there. He played um, He played well. Um, Clemson, their offensive line, their defense just didn't play good. Uh, they, they didn't do good, and they lost. They ended up losing. Um, Trevor, uh, Justin Fields, he went out there, balled, looked good, took a big hit to the back, probably has a broken rib or two, um, still came out, threw a touchdown after that. I mean, just straight balled, deep balls, passes on point, uh, his pocket presence, deep ball accuracy, everything about this kid shows that he's also going to be a good, um, a good NFL quarterback, and that he is a college quarterback, a good quarterback, a good college quarterback. Um, the issue that I'm seeing is that now, since Trevor Lawrence lost and he's not playing for the national championship. Now, all of a sudden, you have these Jaguar fans who now they're jumping ship. First, it was Fields when we were projected to have the number two uh, draft pick. Everyone was saying Fields, Fields, Fields. Okay, boom. We end up getting the number one draft pick. Jets end up winning the game. Oh, now it's Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence. So there was always an argument amongst the Jaguar fan base of who's better, Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields. And to me, I always thought it was stupid because... At the time, we had the number two pick, so it didn't matter with Trevor Lawrence. I mean, if we wasn't going to get him anyway, what's the point of even holding an argument and conversation about him? But now that we have the number one, now people are trying to say that because Lawrence lost, even I think this is his third loss in his whole career, this is third loss period in his whole career, um, now they're saying because Fields played good and his team won, we should go after Fields. Um, I still think if Lawrence is the generational talent that they say they are, if everybody's saying Lawrence is that guy, if everything leads to, if everyone's saying Lawrence should be the number one draft pick, I don't think this is Jacksonville's chance to gamble and to overthink it. I think we need to stick with what we're going. If we're going with Lawrence, we need to stick with Lawrence. When we had that number, when we, as soon as we got that number one pick, and if it was Lawrence, we need to go to Lawrence. If national media is saying it's Lawrence, we need to go to Lawrence. If Hall of Fame scout saying it's Lawrence, we need to go to Lawrence. If everything shows that Lawrence is the best quarterback, we need to go to Lawrence. Fields. Field played, Fields played well. Fields balled out yesterday. Field balls out in the national championship and he looks good. That's good for Fields. I hope Fields does well. I hope Fields is a great quarterback as well. But if everything shows that Lawrence is the better quarterback and the generational talent that they say he is, we need to stick to Lawrence. Um, as a Jacksonville Jaguar fan, and as most people that's watching these videos are Jaguar fans, we are tired of just being the doorstep of the National Football League. Man, We need to finally get something for our own and finally get it right. And my the best the best case scenario with, with Lawrence and Field is both of them do good. Point blank period. And no matter who goes one and two, both of them do good. That's the best case scenario, point blank period. That somebody gets these two these two quarterbacks and both of them do well for their team. I don't want it to be a debate of who is better, is one more is one sorrier than the next. Should we go after this person because this person went to this school? Um, because this uh playoff game showed you that he because he didn't his team didn't won, that he's not the guy. No. If everything says Lawrence is the guy, let's go after Lawrence. Um, if that's where we were looking before the game, that's exactly where we should be looking after the game. If Fields is filled with the national championship, cool. But if Lawrence is our guy, let's not jump ship and just run after Fields. And I feel like that's what a lot of people are doing. 
Um, I think Fields is gonna. I think both of them are honestly gonna do good in the league. I think honestly they're gonna play well in the league. Whoever gets them, they're gonna. They're gonna. They have to be coached well. Number one, and they have to. Whatever team they gets them has to build the team around them and around their um, around their strengths. Point blank up here, whatever team they go to, they got to be built around the strengths. Jets have no receivers, so if, if either one of them go to the Jets, they got to get a better receiving core. Got to get a tight end. Same with Jacksonville. Got to get a tight end. You know what I'm saying? Where our receivers are better than the Jets, but our receiving core needs to get better. Both teams need a better offensive line. Both teams have to have a better offensive line to protect these guys. Both teams have to have a running game. Jacksonville has a better running game than the Jets. Jets don't have a running game. Both of them need a running back. Jacksonville needs another running back. So both teams, no matter who gets who, if Lawrence goes to the Jets and we get Fields at one, both of us, we both teams have to build around build around these young guys. So um that's more of anything. I just wish both. I wish the best for both of them, and that's the best. The best that that's the best case scenario that both of these guys play well. Um, I think it's kind of dumb and stupid for us to go. Ah, oh, field is trash. Field is trash. Field is trash for seven, eight, nine, three months. Seven, eight, nine weeks, three months. Constantly calling this young man trash because he goes to Ohio State, and when he plays bad against Iowa or Iowa State, whatever team, or Indiana, whatever team he played bad against, then everyone jumps on him and says he's trash, he's horrible, blah blah blah, blah, blah. But then when Lawrence plays bad, everyone's saying, "Oh well, yeah, I know I said this about Fields earlier, but he beat Lawrence. Come on, man, it's not one-on-one -on -one basketball, it's not one-on-one -on -one football. It's eleven. It's ten other guys on the field that have to do their thing on the same side of the ball. It's another eleven on the other side of the uh, ball." They all have to do their thing. Just Lawrence still played well. Lawrence balled out through, I think, 300, 400 yards. I can't remember. He balled out. Fields balled out. Fields' team just happened to be better. Point blank period. Um, but I just I just see I see this going on with the fans. It's calling one sorry and the other one's not. And I think that's um I think that's unfair, to be honest, on both of these guys. Like, come on now, like. Well, they're one and two. No matter how we look at it, they're going to be one and two. One and two. One of them's going to be the first quarterback taken. The other one's going to be second quarterback taken. They're one and two. So I just think I just think it's kind of it's kind of whack for the fan base to start attacking these attacking either one of these guys because they just happen to win a game. Um, I'm gonna ask you a question. I want somebody in the uh, comments to answer this. What quarterback has been undefeated? All through college to have to be un to have, didn't have not one blemish on their record all through college and make it in the NFL and ball out. I just want somebody in the comments to answer me that question because I don't know no one. I don't I don't think um, Peyton Manning he didn't win the national championship or the Heisman, but he damn sure had a good career. Um, Aaron Rodgers no national championship, no Heisman, good career. Tom Brady no national championship, no Heisman, good career. I'm even going a little bit lower. Uh, Philip Rivers, who has, I think he's on like year 16 or some shit like that. Mr. Consistent, every year, 4,000 yards. Um, no national championship, no Heisman. Um, had losses on their record. Even when you talk, even when people mention Patrick Mahomes, I think Patrick Mahomes is last year, they won like five or six games. But no one jumped down there and said, well, Patrick Mahomes ain't shit because he had a, he had a loss. So... Whoever these people are, and again, when you watch this video, tell me who went undefeated all through college, who had a better record, um, who went undefeated all through high school, all through college, made us in the NFL, and was that guy. Because basically, that's what you guys are saying. We, we need somebody perfect, and we're never going to find that. So tell me who's the perfect guy to compare Trevor Lawrence to since Trevor Lawrence lost a game in the college playoffs that you can compare him to and say that um, he's not that. Tell me. Tell me if it's Doug Flutie. Anybody, you know what I'm saying? These guys better never had a, a fucking loss in their whole college career, high school career, because if you're looking for Mr. Perfect, he's not there. There's no perfect quarterback to ever play the game that was just undefeated everywhere they went. So um, that's that. I think Trevor Lawrence is still going to be good for us. If we, if he, if he just, and, he, and back to this, even these people that are saying like, oh, what if he decides to stay? Okay, if he decides to stay, he's going to go to another sorry team next year. If the Jaguars and Jets tank this year, what you think going to happen next year? The Jaguars or the Jets are going to tank next year. Come on, bro. Y'all got to stop like overthinking this shit and then being... A lot of it sounds like just some hater shit. Like, they just want Jacksonville to just stay in the basement in the other NFL forever. Y'all got to stop this hater-ass shit. Like, if he does it, he's, he's, he's at his highest of his value right now as we speak. Next year, if he plays and he, he doesn't play well, he's not going to be the first-round pick. He's not going to be the very first pick of the, of the draft. 
point blank period. His draft stock is at its highest that it's, uh, that it's going to be this year. He can stay, but who knows what's going to happen with COVID? Who knows what's going to happen with uh, with the with college? Who knows what's going to happen with Clemson? Is Dabo going to leave? We don't know what can happen, but his highest his stock is at its highest right now. If if he decides to stay, then we're going to tank again, or another team is going to tank this year. He's going to go to another sorry team. Now it's crazy how teams or people don't mind. The Jets tanking for the Jaguar uh, for Trevor Lawrence, but when it's the Jaguars, all of a sudden everybody has a big issue with the Jaguars, bro. Come on, dog. Let that shit go, man. Get off our dick. If he if he decides to go, if he decides to stay, we're gonna tank again next year. Point blank, period. But he ain't. Like I said, he's he doesn't have. I don't think he has a problem being in North Florida. He's from like in South Georgia. He's right up the street. Went to school in South Carolina. It's right across the street. So you know what I'm saying, like. There's that's that he's not he's not going to stay. There's no reason for him to stay. There's no beneficial. There's nothing he benefits from staying uh, another year and jumping out after his senior year. There's zero benefits for him doing that. So I, people stop saying that like that literally it literally makes zero sense when you say that. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, I'm going to hit you up on that. Yep.